Welcome back to Bear Grounds Homestead. My name is Don Bear. I'm going to talk about this week, probably one of the least favorite things that you have to deal with on the homestead is rodents, rats and mice. Now we have probably seven outdoor cats, so anything that's outside that I can leave a door open, we really don't have a problem. I've got some really good mousers. But you get places like they'll get in your chicken coop or your feed rooms and you really don't want them in there. The easiest thing to get them with, I mean it sounds crazy, is what we call a bucket trap. It's a simple thing, five gallon bucket, a board for a ramp with a couple of screws in it, so that once you set it up there and they climb up it doesn't scoop back. And we'll go ahead and set this up in the coop, I've been seeing a few in there again. But not a whole lot to it. and. I'll give you some totals after we get done setting it up. But so it's just a little bit over half full. Just in case you get any tall rats, you don't want them doing jumping off the bottom. Let's go on over towards the coop and look. Okay, once you get your water in your bucket, I'm gonna get you some good black little sunflower seeds. I mean, a bag this size, you'll be able to set it probably three or four times, depending on how often you got to change it. But what you do, you pour it on the, in the water until you have about a half inch of them floating on top. And nobody said rats and mice were the smartest animals in the world. They come up that board, they smell those sunflower seeds, they think they're jumping off into a bucket full of sunflower seeds. First thing they hit with their mouth open is they get a big drink. And I don't think it's that good of a karma way to kill something. But to save my, take care of my animals, and save my property, it works pretty good. Now we'll take it into the coop and set it up. We've got all those little guineas right now, and they are just flying, learning to fly. Some of them are flying good, and some are flying better than others. And I don't want to take a chance of them getting in here. So I'll take it. Slide it back underneath those nesting boxes and take my board and set it over here. And I'll tell you what, those rats, I'll come in here first thing tomorrow morning and there'll be floaters or swimmers in there. So it's a, I'll tell you what, it's for something so simple, it works so good. But okay, let's go back out of here. Back in January, we lost our neighbor who had probably four head of shepherds and probably 60 or more guineas and chickens of every sort. And after he passed and there was nothing over there, I mean, he had a big problem with rats. I mean, we could be standing there talking to him and they'd be running up the side and going up on his porch with him standing there. And so far, as of two days ago, I have caught 91 rats with that bucket trap. I'll go a few days and I won't see any but they're slowly migrating this way what the cats outside cats don't get and they make it in here because I keep feed in here in the coop but I tell you what give it a try I mean my neighbor up the road has some problems with them he's tried he's gotten one but I think he didn't put enough water in it so he, or, or sunflower seeds so he said he's gonna set it up again and see how he does but Hey, just a handy little trick for the homestead. Doesn't cost you a lot of money. Easy to set up. So, How long is it taking you to catch 91? We have been trapping them since the end of February when they started working this way. I guess so. Since February till now, we've, we've caught... Well, they'll like come in little families. You'll get like six or seven at a time. I think the most I caught in one trapping was 12, 12 rats in the trap and I left it set for two days. So rats can breed faster than our cats can yes, catch them. Yes, quite faster. So I hope you like this this episode. I know it's not something people like to talk about, but hey, it works. And you know, you don't have to worry about them eating eggs or eating your biddies. And so if you like it, like, share it, subscribe. For those of you that have subscribed, we sure appreciate it. 
We'll talk to you next week.